Hello everybody and welcome to At Dan Petty Show where we talk about the top random stories and design of the week or in this case of the past few weeks. I apologize for missing last week. Just Life just got the best of me. And I feel like now's a good time to kind of tell you a little bit about myself really quickly just so you kind of understand when things like this happen. So I'm a freelance designer in the overpriced San Francisco. I generally work on websites and, and iPhone apps. Sometimes I do print and identity work as well. I also run a design event. But honestly, most importantly, I'm a husband and a father to three beautiful little girls, ages four, two and in a month. So I've got my hands pretty full. These videos usually take me just, just like an hour to shoot. Sometimes I have to set up, break down and set up everything again. So that usually takes me 30 minutes to an hour to set everything back up. Um, so there's two hours right there. But the process is the editing. So I'm still really slow at editing. And it takes me, I mean it could take me four to 10 hours to edit one video. And I usually do this like at night when everyone's sleeping or get up a few extra hours early to find time to do this. So of course with the new baby edition, my free time is very limited and I, I'd rather spend it with her than to do video stuff and set up and break down and all this kind of crazy stuff. But I do enjoy this a lot and I'm gonna keep doing it. I just ask that you bear with me the next few weeks as I'm transitioning into being a father of three. <laughs> Anyways, enough about me. So what I wanna do for this episode since I missed last week is just kinda of do like a top 10 rundown of the things that have been happening. We're gonna do this quick. It's gonna be quick because I only got like 30 minutes to do this so we're gonna jump in and just go. Now number one is the new YouTube logo. I love this thing, I think it's beautiful, I think it's so honestly perfect. I was never really connected to the logo in the past. I felt, it always felt a little dated to me, even from well, the first time I saw it, it felt a little dated. I don't know what it was about it. Um, but I was always connected to the, the symbol, the play button that they always used in, in different areas. So I was stoked when I saw that they updated this. I think it's simpler, I think it's more beautiful, and it just makes more sense for YouTube. Also, YouTube updated their whole site, and I personally like it a lot. I th the only thing I wish they would do is stop focusing so much on these little design changes, but work on the UX. Like, the UX is really hard on YouTube. It's struggling, it's struggling. Like, I don't even know, I've been using this for, let's see, I've been vlogging for like, for only like a year now or so, but I still don't know where to go to, to find my videos, to get to my channel, to, to find the studio where you edit and do all these things. Like, I still have to trial and error every single time I use this. It's crazy. YouTube, fix the UX. Guys, like, look, YouTube designers, I y'all are talented. I've got some friends there, y'all are wicked talented. And I know it's hard to change something like this. The, the updates, updates to the visuals, beautiful. I love it. I actually really, really like it. I think it's way better. I think it's cool, it's clean. It's not an easy task by all means. There's so much going on and it's a, it's a pretty big design problem, but I think y'all can do it. You're super talented. Um, let's, let's push that up to the priority list because I know a lot of people complain about it. A lot of people complain about it, right? Rightfully so. And speaking of logo redesigns, Medium went back to its Serif M. Not the original one they had, but it's a little different look, a little different take, and I love it. I, I, I don't know what it was about the last logo for Medium, but the, the abstract M, it really wasn't jiving with me. Now, a quick little backstory. I was one of the first employees at Medium, so the, the Serif M means a lot to me. I was there before we even knew what Medium was, and I left when we launched because I was accepted into Y Combinator for a project. So I was a little bummed when we went to the abstract M just because it, it wasn't I felt like it wasn't jiving to what we had originally created for Medium. But now that they're back to it, it just ah, it just feels complete again. I love everything they got going on. By, by the way, check out this old Medium design I did. I've done hundreds of these. This is one of the first ones. It looks so funny compared to how awesome the site looks now to how weird this looks in this comp right now. <laughs> Anyways. Funny stuff. Simplice 4 is out. For those of you that don't know, it's a really advanced tool for making your portfolios using WordPress. It's beautiful. It's created by Tobias Finn Schneider and team. And the details on this thing are just, the, the, the coolest thing about this, what I'm really excited about is the mobile breakpoint. Now, you know, when you have a responsive site, you can, you move the browser back and forth, you check it on the phone or whatnot, and it just kind of breaks down on some sizes, but it looks great on other sizes. With this, you can go in and customize each breakpoint to look exactly how you want it. So if you scale down to like an iPad size and you start to get some widows and the text or something, pop right in there and edit and make it look beautiful on that size. It's 
that's cool. Also in the news, another one of my favorite things from Envision, Envision are just, they're just killing it these days, is designbetter.co. And what that is, is a place to discover, learn, and elevate your design learning process. And what this is, is basically just a library of books, podcasts, and workshops created by some of the top and smartest designers. And this, I don't know if you've had a chance to check this out, but this is beautiful. Not only is the content amazing, but the design alone. You will be inspired just by looking at this site design. It, it's just beautiful. Speaking of awesome design tools, Webflow is incredible. I've used Webflow a few times. Now, I'm, I'm not a design... <laughs> I'm a designer. I'm not a developer. I'm not a developer. But Webflow kind of makes it easier for me to kind of jump in and design and develop at the same time. It does sound a little daunting at first, but they just created this thing called Webflow University. And it basically is just all these guides and courses that you could take to learn Webflow. And I highly recommend you do it because it's powerful stuff. Now I have to mention this because I'm super proud of it, but epicurrence.com, the new site, has won three awards. They have won the FWA side of the day, uh, award side of the day, and and since it won both of those on the same day at the same time, we won a third award, which there's only two of these ever given out ever. And it's the FWA Awards. It's, and I don't even know how to say the name of those. FWA, all, I'm going to say FWA All Awards because F, I don't even know how to say it. It's basically when the FWA and awards got together and created a special award for when one of these sites win at the same time on both of their sites. And I think it's really cool. I think it's special that they did that together. And I, I'm just stoked beyond belief that Epicurrence has won the second one that's ever been given away. So huge shout out to Rob and Ari and the team that helped create this site, helped bring it to life, and helped lead this project. And just made it what it is today. So eh, blown away, blown away. Yeah, it looks like Dribble updated the designers page. You can now see followers and trending. Um, I don't see... I don't see them talking about Scout anywhere except for one word here. Hire designer Scout gives you unlimited access. Um, you can find Scout here in hiring. So they have that page there again. Um, but at least for the people that were complaining, designers is now back up in the top bar. And you can still see followers and trending. They might be a little upset that followers doesn't come first. But... Now there's a really cool site I want y'all to take a look at, and that's askplaybook.com. It's created by a friend of mine, Jared Arondio. And it's basically a place where you can find answers to some of your questions about design, job, career related stuff. For example, this question from Jason Maiden, as a manager, what are ways to build a proactive team culture instead of one that waits for directions? And one of the ways I think Playbook is really clever is that people just don't answer the questions, but they give action items. And they'll, they'll, so they'll give an action item and they'll kind of describe how to do that action item. It's, it's, it's super cool, it's super easy. Highly recommend you checking it out. Well, unfortunately friends, that's all the time we got for today. I'll be back next week with another episode. And in the meantime, stay positive, take a break and get out of my office. Speaking of dribble, they sent me a ball that I could actually make the dunk with. And uh... before 2018, I will dunk this ball. This one. <laughs>